welcome to another video with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're going to make a digital conversion of a rail car. Uh, this rail car is uh, Märklin number 34262 and in Sweden it's called X02. This uh, rail car, same type of rail car, was also used in Belgium and uh, several other countries. Uh, in different paint scheme, but the model is the same. It's uh, basically a Trix model and it's uh, built for Delta control. Delta is some prehistoric uh, pre-digital system uh, with uh, not so good uh, running characteristics. Uh, so we'll improve on that, uh, reduce sound and uh, also uh, take advance of the digital age. So let's go. The cover is held in place by four snap hinges. Bend them carefully to the side and just lift off the cover. Then we need to remove the contacts for the interior lighting. There are two of those and then the lighting is just easy to remove. The interior is held in place by two screws, so unscrew those and just lift it off. We are now going to remove the entire circuit board, which is the Delta decoder. It's held in place with two screws and then we just desolder the cables that is currently soldered to the board. After that, the PCB is easy to remove like this. The new decoder will be held in place with a double-sided mounting pad. Even if you're using a miniature decoder, there is only one spot where it will fit, and this is the spot. So now I'm pushing the decoder in place. This is the Märklin Decoder 6760, which really is a kit which contains from motor parts, which we will not use for this conversion, we'll only use the decoder. We're starting off by soldering the blue and green motor cable to the motor terminal. Be careful not to use too much heat on this terminal because the plastic will melt. Then it's time for the brown uh, ground terminal which is connected to the wheels and the red cable which goes down to the slider. So if you're happy with uh, using the lamps just leave them as they are. Uh, you can add another one and paint the glass of that one red and you will get that lamp as the tail light, the rear light. Uh, I'm gonna replace these with LEDs since uh, the lamps are quickly adding up uh, the amount of current needed just to power the lamps. So I will replace them with LEDs and thereby reduce the power consumption with about one tenth. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do now. We're replacing the lamp and the socket with LEDs. I soldered two three millimeter uh, diameter round LEDs to each other with a common anode. The LEDs will be held in place with uh, also double-sided adhesive pads and those will also work as an isolator against the chassis. Here I've also attached or connected two uh, diodes and the serial resistor to the common pole. I covered the uh, LEDs from the top with a piece of black tape that is just to avoid light leak up in the cabin. I will not uh, replace the lamps in the interior light right now uh, since they will be switched off most of the time anyway. Well, we're ready. Now I'm just gonna paint the seats to get a bit of detail inside. Lastly, I'm adding two pieces of cloth inside the roof of this rail car. That is to give the, the noise a bit a softer tone. All right, so we got the sound level down. Uh, we got digital control of the interior lights as well as adding the uh, tail light, the red tail light. Uh, we got a bit of softer tone on the on the noise with the, the cloth inside, and also got some paint onto the the seats. Uh, uh, this decoder I use is not so good. It's uh, mostly just cheap. 
Uh, this motor, which has a, a, a Schwungmasse, a, a, a special motor with a weight, a rotating weight, uh, really needs a more advanced decoder. I would uh, uh, recommend that for you who wants to put more money into this project. Uh, then you will get much better running characteristics than this. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. If you like it, please help me by giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're looking for some other tutorial or other things uh, you want to see, please check out mrrtutorials.com where you will have a listing of all of the different videos available under each topic, like landscape and uh, scenery, technical stuff, all that. All right, until next time, take care and see ya.